Let the record show I'm early on y'all asses. <laughs> was called hopeless okay guys another episode of me loving it i loved it we starting off we back right where we left off i see you being drugged down the hall by some damn wolves um sookie and bill take off after him then russell corner sookie sookie light that ass up then you know just as eric is about to get russell i'm like yeah get him get him get him Bill reminds him that, look, he's worth more to us alive, you know, and you might be bored after a thousand years, but my ass want to live. So, let him go, bruh. Let him go. Okay, so, the authority comes right then and there. After Bill gives his little spill about you being bored, the authority comes right then and there. I was shocked. I did not expect that at all. I honestly thought it was going to be a showdown for the whole down, because a lot of y'all said Russell was faking. He wasn't weak. He was back at it. But Russell wasn't faking. He still is weak. And, and I'm not going to lie. I thought Russell was going to fight and whoop some ass. I thought Bill and Eric was fucking about to be done, y'all. I was like, oh, Lord, it's about to be a battle to the death. But um, the authority came in. That's probably the one time I was very excited to see the authority. So when the authority finally comes and gets Russell, my initial thing, and I'm like, oh, shit. He about to tell the authority Sookie is a fairy. Like, that was my first thing. Like, oh my gosh. No, no, no. Hop to the scene with Tara and Jessica fighting. Can I say Tara was whooping Jessica ass? Yes! I was so excited to see that. I'm like, what is Tara? Get it. I'm so happy. But again, I ask y'all again, why is Tara stronger than Jessica? Is it their blood? Some of y'all said that. That being that... Tara came from Pam and Eric. She has stronger blood or something like that. I don't know. But again, tell me again in the comments. I really want to know why she's stronger than Jessica. Now, I kind of felt like Pam with Tara. I was proud. I was like, yes. Yes, yes. But not like a well-trained dog. When Pam said that, I'm like, really, Pam? I'm sure Eric didn't treat your motherfucking ass like that. You ain't got to treat Tara like that. We're back at the little spooky hospital. And the authority orders... Bill and Eric to kind of glamour them like nothing a little glamouring won't take care of. Um, now, <laughs> can I just say I knew Eric was going to glamour LC to like not like Suki. I knew that she was going to happen right when they said for them to do it. Like I knew Eric was going to do that. The whole time Bill is fake glamouring Suki. Like, I loved it because you could just still see that chemistry between them. But it was just so sad because he's like, he's really, the whole time he's glaring her, he's telling her, look, we're done. You are done with this kind of life. You don't need to be around vampires no more. Go back in the fucking sun with your friends and your family. Live the life you were meant to live. Don't choose this life with these vampires because it's going to end up bad for you. Just go out and live a normal life. And I'm just like, oh, it crushed me. It crushed me, y'all. And can I just say, why Eric did fake glamour LC? He tripping. One of my favorite scenes is when I seen Luna and Sam getting rushed into the hospital. Y'all, I was excited because I thought they were dead. I was like, woo! So, um, back to the hospital where the authority has the humans in the van. And he goes on and then the woman's like, are we going to get some kind of financial compensation? I got fucking confused when he attacked and killed all those people. Damn it, I was not ready for Doug to die. I wanted Doug. I liked Doug. Me and Doug was on the same page last episode. I liked Doug. I didn't want Doug to die. Why did he kill all of them? I'm just confused. That is the thing that the authority is against. So why would he do that? Interesting thing, we hop to Jason's dream and he's telling his dad, you know, I'm going to get the vampire that did this to you and all that. And his dad said, you know, the only thing you need to fear is. And he wakes up. What is it? I'm thinking his dad is going to say fairies. That's what I'm thinking. I don't think his dad is against the vampires. I think his dad probably is coming to him in a dream um, to tell him, look, you need to fear them fairies. Like, get the fuck away from them. I posed a question last time to a lot of you, and thanks to all that answered it, I said, you know, Jason's going to start going after vampires. He's going to want to know who killed his parents. He's going to start disliking vampires. And I asked, you know, what do y'all think? 
is going to happen with that. How do y'all think that's going to affect his relationship with Jessica and also his relationship with Sookie? We damn well know Sookie not going to stop, you know, like in vampires. Or maybe she will. Who knows? Y'all let me know in the comments below. So we go to Sookie where Alcee wakes up all naked. Ugh. Naked out seat is always good with me. And he comes downstairs and he's kind of starting to remember. Now, I don't know why he starts to remember. Usually when they glamour people, they don't remember. But maybe because he's a supernatural, he kind of gets his memory back faster. And then Suki makes him remember, which I was glad because he didn't deserve to be glamour. I mean, he's out seat. He's had their back. So, again, I'm going to say it again, I'm going to say it again, I'm going to say it again. I'm so glad Sam and Luna are okay. So, we go to the hospital and Martha brings Emma over. And I, I had to respect that because I didn't like Martha, you know what I'm saying? But she did the right thing. And she really showed Luna that she just kind of wants to be in Emma's life. Again, I don't know if Luna should trust her or if Sam and Luna should be trying to go out and see who killed, tried to kill them either. But... You know, I have to respect that. I, You know, I appreciate that Martha did that with a little bitty Emma. So, again, like every review, I'm going to wrap Terry up real quick. Um, So, we see him. Uh, his little, you know, scenes this was just him and his little sergeant or whatever, you know, arguing about Elfried and what they're going to do, what they're going to do. Now, again, they show that disgusting scene. I hate when they show that scene of him killing that woman. But... On the part where him and Arlene were kind of saying their goodbyes, Arlene was so annoying. Just take your meds and it'll be okay. Arlene, girl, something's really coming after him. It ain't about no damn meds. You need to calm down. You need to listen. But I can say that, you know, it was kind of sad him saying goodbye because Terry was starting to feel normal. You know, Arlene gave that to him. And I think she kind of, you know, finally got her family life that she's been wanting. I think Terry is a good pick for Arlene. So hopefully he doesn't die and he can come back. They can beat the L free and everything will be okay. The scene with Lafayette's mom, I have to say that I loved it. I really, truly did. When he walked in, and I was like, damn, she died. You know, because she all sitting still in the damn bed. But she really didn't die. His mom was just crazy as hell. So he go in, you know, she talked to him about Jesus. And um, I just love that whole scene. I love that, that connection they made when she kissed him. You know, I just love that whole thing. She, she kind of gave him some answers. And do y'all think, this is what I started to think. Maybe Lafayette's mom is crazy, but maybe her being a medium made her crazy because she used to see so many things that she didn't understand. You know what I'm saying? So it just kind of made her crazy. And when she probably would tell people, they were like, you crazy as hell. So then they probably committed this woman that really didn't need to be committed. She just needs some help being a medium. I love when he asked his mama, mama, how you know all this? And she said, I have no fucking clue, baby. And when he was walking out and she was like, Jesus loves the little faggots too funny. So, we go to the scene with Al C show up at the little pack ranch or barn, barn whatever the hell they in. I'm kind of over that little storyline of the wolf pack and shit. Um, we learned some pack rules and you know, Al C want to take over the pack because they didn't got vampire blood. I knew it was the damn wolves from Louisiana. I think I said in the comments of my last video. I'm not sure. But I mean, I'm just kind of over it. I don't think that's our C role. I mean, let them wolves do what the hell they want to do. You've been staying away from them this whole time. Stay away from them. You don't need a pack. Whoever his second, that little girl jumped up, I don't like her already because she might become between him and Sookie. So we go to Bill and Eric at the authority with it base, whatever the hell you want to call it. And they take the stakes off of Eric and Bill. I was so relieved. Now, at first, when they took Eric's off, the whole time, I'm like, take Bill's off. Take Bill's off. Why are you taking Bill's off? Why are you waiting, little Molly? Take Bill's off. Like, I'm just sitting there like, take that fucking stake off of Bill. So, I was relieved when they actually did that. When the Guardian, Detective Stable ass, come in there, and he tried to offer them a drink. Did y'all notice Bill and Eric did not drink that shit? They were just like, Next. And let me tell y'all so what I noticed about my bill. Y'all know I love my bill. Bill is being a total kiss ass. Oh my god. Everything they say, Bill talking about Bill a grin. Oh yes. You know, I'm just like Bill. Why? But you know what? That's Bill. He know how to play into people. He's very manipulative. I can't admit that about Bill. But he know how to survive and I love him for that. Team Bill. So, you know, when the Guardian is asking Eric about the religion and, you know, do he agree? I'm just like, Eric, agree and shut the fuck up so y'all can get the fuck out of there. Eric want to be his old swab, debonair fucking self, fucking Viking Eric Northman. I'm like, oh, he about to get them fucking killed. Eric, shut the hell up. 
we have to the scene with Sookie and Jason, and Jason kind of tells Sookie that vampires killed their parents, and she's like, no, it's not true. Take me to this fairy clubhouse. They go on the field. Now, that was a funny scene where... Suki can hear it and she goes through the kind of portal and Jason's trying to walk through and his dumb ass cannot get through the portal. Oh, you just gotta love dumb fine Jason. Now tell me why as soon as they get through the portal they walking in. Why is Jason worried about a damn tie? That's my fucking tie. I'm like Jason concentrate on the task at hand dummy. And let me tell y'all, I was over this whole dance scene. Okay, I'm tired of the damn dancing. We got the authority shit going on. Russell, Sam and Luna, all this shit. I was really over all that. I was just trying to figure out what's going on. I can do without the dance scenes, True Blood. Thanks. I have a question. Is Jason part fairy or what? Did he not get the fairy jeans? So we really um, get to meet Claude this episode. He tells Suki he's the one that helped her get out of there with the other fairies. And again, there is a fairy... Uh, separation going on right now which I find is very interesting we also learned that the light fruit actually harvest humans um, that was interesting too Andy at the store with old Junior and Junior's like you know other soups and why the government don't acknowledge other soups and all this other kind of shit and I was not expecting him to go and try to kill Sam that blew my mind but now we know it's just some regular redneck bon ton as citizens that don't like the supernaturals and they want to take their town back or the world or whatever I'm over it like really is are these the ones that are going to be kind of like a villain? Are the residents of Bon Ton? Ugh. Happened to the scene where Hoyt is letting the dude feed on him. Hoyt, really? Again, I'm over you. And then, you know, these little rednecks come again to shoot the supernaturals. And they save Hoyt with their fucking Obama mask. Y'all, I'm just over that whole shit. Like, <sighs> over it. <laughs> Um, but the very interesting scene during that scene is was when Claude is telling the story of what really happened to Sookie's parents. And we actually see her parents driving on the bridge that they uh, supposedly died in the flood of. And um, he's saying that the vampires smelled something in the back seat. And it was Sookie's blood on a band-aid. And he actually killed the parents and I'm like okay who is this fucking mystery vampire was it a vampire is this true I need to find out come on true blood let me know something do y'all have any kind of ideas of who it could have been or who it was or you know any speculations at all so Suki gets mad that Claude tells her this Suki calm down and she tried to light his ass up then they all light Suki up can I just say, Nora, this episode was crazy as fuck. Like, the first couple of episodes, I liked her. But she's just showing the whole new side. And she's talking about, this is Lilith. She, everything is coming to pass. This is what, you know, all this other kind of stuff. And Eric's like, okay, now you acknowledge me. Like, what the hell is going on? I love when everybody's in the room. Eric, Bill, everybody in the authority. And he's... <laughs> The Guardian's like, in the name of the Father, in the name of all this. And Russell's like, in the name of my ass. That shit was hilarious. And I can say at that very moment, at that very moment, I didn't want Russell to die. I don't know why. And I know that he's trying to kill Bill and Eric, but I just didn't want him to die. And when Bill was like this, and I was like, yeah, they finna stake his ass. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And... Roman goes to press the damn app, and Molly, she in it too. Bitch, I seen you. I seen you. You know what you did. And then Russell gets Roman and, like, stakes him. Oh, my gosh, y'all. I was not expecting that. I was like, oh, my God, Bill and Eric did. That's my first reaction. Like, oh, shit. Russell about to take over. The Sanguinistas been all in the authority. The authority is like a bunch of Sanguinistas. The only person who was probably for this fucking mainstream and shit was Roman. I mean, I just, I did not see that coming. What the hell? Detective Stabler, you died already, bro? Really? I'm thinking you're going to be on the whole season. Not. Again, guys, I love this entire episode. This episode was great. Shout out to everybody who sends me comments, who sends me messages, asks me on Facebook, follows me on Twitter. I really appreciate it. See y'all in a week.